we have a control panel here. Uh, your control panel will probably look different. It does vary and depend on the unit. In this particular situation, both of our slide out rooms are labeled here and we have in and out. What we're going to want to do is assess the area where we've parked and make sure everything is clear. There's no trees, no buildings, light poles, things like that. We're in the middle of a parking lot, so I'm pretty sure we're clear of trees and other, area, uh, other obstructions. So in this situation, the slide room is in. You can see space is kind of limited. And we want to gain some room. We're going to be camping for a while. We can operate it right here and simply hit the out button. And what happens here is this whole section slides out. Now, whenever you let go of the button, it will stop. And you want to keep an eye and make sure that there's no obstructions or anyone there that you're going to run into. Back to finishing uh, moving our slide out out. We'll continue to move it the rest of the way now that Marvin's not in the way. And you will hear a noise change when it is all the way out. There you go. Now our slide out is all the way out. Um, when you go to move it back in, there are a couple things to take note of, as well as moving it out. On a motorized unit, for example, you do a lot of times have the driver's seat in very close proximity to the slide out. You do want to make sure that the driver's seat is moved forward uh, enough to slide the slide out in and out. Not a bad idea just to move it up all the way. Uh, you will have some situations where the slide out will not move out or move in. Um, unless the vehicle is running. Some manufacturers want it running with the e-brake on. Some want it off with the e-brake on or off. Uh, you do have uh, one switch on a motorized unit, <clears throat> which is your 12 volt cutoff switch. So you are gonna wanna make sure that's on, otherwise you won't get any power to the unit. Uh, so there are a couple variables in getting the slide outs to uh, move in and out, mainly on motorized units. So if yours isn't working, consult your owner's manual uh, in case there's some special circumstances to get it to move. Mo uh, that stuff typically doesn't apply to a trailer. Those generally uh, move without any extra uh, things to take care of. When it comes time to move it in, you're going to want to make sure that you've cleared any obstructions out of the area. You might uh, have some situations where there's a table or other things that clip or um, sit into the main floor. You are gonna wanna move those out of the way. In this situation, the table is actually mounted to the pop-out itself, so it's not necessary to move it. You wanna make sure that there's no extra weight on the unit. As much fun as it might be for kids to wanna go on a ride and ride it, uh, ride it in and out when you're moving it, uh, it's a good idea not to have any extra weight on it. It does add some extra strain to the system. In this situation, we are all clear. We can go on ahead and start moving it in. And we simply just hit our in button and bring the unit in. We will wait for that same change in tone to know that it is in all the way. There we go, we're in all the way. If you notice here on this unit, the driver's seat, how when it is in, it is pretty close. So it's not uncommon for people to end up adjusting their seat and obstructing the slide in or slide out um, and damaging some trim and things like that. So keep an eye on those driver's seats on motorized units. Uh, that should conclude how to operate your slide in or slide out and uh, stay classy RVers.